Hello wonderful viewer and welcome to What The Math, this is Anton and today we're going to do a little bit of mathematics using YouTube. What? That's right. Welcome and enjoy the video. <laughs> And let me just get into the topic. So today we're going to be calculating your number of subscribers on your own channel using what's known as a logistic function. This is actually a function I've never really talked about before because normally it's covered in like grade 11, grade 12 mathematics. But to me, this is a very important function to know, not just for YouTube, not just for the fact that this is a really cool function to sort of try to map out your own uh, YouTube progress, but it's also something that applies to real life, specifically how the population grows and how essentially everything grows in general. Now, logistic functions usually are relatively complex, but today I'm going to simplify it to you. So even if you don't know uh, high school mathematics or you've just never really got into it, I'm going to try to make it super simple so that it actually makes sense and you can use this function later on to try to calculate, well, anything really, any kind of growth. So let me just start with the shape here. I want to show you what it looks like. And the best example is available right here on Wikipedia. By uh, searching a logistic function, you'll discover the shape and also the basics um, of this particular function. So essentially, it's when something starts like an exponential function, goes up dramatically, but then in the mid midpoint, it starts slowing down again and becomes this sort of an S shape. So this is an S shape function. And this applies to a lot of things in real life. Like for example, population growth. Um, when humanity was still young, we were sort of growing relatively slowly, but um, the actual growth was exponential. At some point we started growing dramatically. And then this is somewhere in the 19th and 20th century, our population numbers have exploded and then started to slow down. And today, um, mathematicians were able to sort of estimate that for humanity, it's going to sort of peak at around 12 billion people. So we're not going to be growing exponentially like a lot of people assume. We're actually going to peak because this is also known as a population curve. And a quick Google search yielded this. So this is actually one of the models for human population growth. So as you can see, it was sort of flat at first, then grew dramatically, and then is going to flatten out again and possibly even start dropping. This is actually a more complex model of um, a logistic function where it actually does sort of start waning at some point. But we're not going to be talking about this. We're just going to be talking about the growth and also the, the actual um, flat part on top. So let's go back to the Wikipedia page for a second. And I'm just going to scare you with some of the formulas here. So there's a lot of uh, calculus, a lot of derivatives, a lot of grade 12 and possibly even university level uh, math here. And we're not going to do any of this. We're not even going to use this formula because um, even though this is actually a really good formula to use, we're going to use something a little bit, uh, I think, a little bit simpler. Something that I've discovered by, well, basically just watching a bunch of videos online, but also I believe actually Khan Academy has a pretty good, good explanation. Uh, let's go back to this page right here and I'm going to show you what formula we're going to be using so you can actually try to calculate this yourself as well. Now here we need to know two things and um, I've actually made a video about um, population growth and YouTube subscriber growth previously. You can check it out right here somewhere in the in the video description thingy majiggy. Uh, just click on it if you want to watch it. But this was a more simple model. This is a more complex, more realistic model that we're talking about here. And so what you need to know is first of all, you need to know something we're going to refer to as n0 and n0 or n naught if you want to call it that is your initial population now in the previous video i mentioned that i like to measure um my youtube growth from 1000 because this is when we can kind of assume that the channel is you know growing it's doing well and it's easier to calculate things from there so initial population in our case is going to be 1000 1,000 subscribers. We also need to know um, what is going to be the limit for, for our population. So today we know that for humanity on Earth, the limit is about 12 billion people. This is something that we've estimated using various sort of factors, various um, campus complex calculations. Uh, but for YouTube, it's a little bit more tricky because, you know, depending on, on your theme, depending on your topic, depending on what you're actually talking about, what you, what kind of videos you're making, it could be anywhere between, you know, a few thousand to uh, look at PewDiePie, 44, 45 billion. And he's actually, if you actually look at PewDiePie's um, growth curve, 
he has already passed all of this stuff and even the flat out stuff where he was at 45 billion and he's now actually waning. He's in the waning stage. But that's not a story. We'll talk about this later. We're talking about you now and possibly even me. And so K here is, you know, how many um, subscribers do you expect to reach at the end, so sort of uh, at your peak. Now, I've looked around uh, YouTube, I found a few um, really cool educational channels, really cool channels that just kind of, you know, talk about random stuff and possibly use video games like Scott Manley. Uh, he currently has 500,000 subscribers. Then I think the biggest ed education channel I could find was Vsauce with 10 million subscribers. And then there's a few really cool other um, educational channels that have about 3 million. So let's just say for the sakes of mathematics, we're going to set this final population to 3 million subscribers. Now, this is me being very generous with myself, but this is just, you know, for the sakes of math as well. And so, right, so we have final population, we have initial population. We also need to know, figure, we need to figure out something else. We need to figure out what we're going to call little r. And little r refers to the growth rate. So how fast is your channel growing? Now, one of the easiest ways of calculating growth rate is by going into your subscribers on YouTube and to essentially looking at the entire month and then figuring out the average. So like, just look at all of these numbers and try to add them up and then divide them by 30 to get the average. And uh, this will essentially tell you how many subscribers you got this month and then take that number and divided by the total number of subscribers. So let me just show you what I mean by this. Let's just say the average here, it looks like around, I don't know, 90-ish. Let's just say it's 90. And the total subscribers I have right now is something close to about 17,500. So we're gonna take 90 and divide it by the total number, 17,500. And this will give us subscribers per day. And roughly it's about 0.005 or about half a percent. So the growth rate of this channel is about half a percent per day. And uh, that's something that you would expect from a young channel that's sort of growing. And uh, as long as you keep making videos, as long as you keep uh, interacting with your audience, you should be getting these uh, sort of numbers as well. It can be as low as 0 0.001 or as high as 0 0.01, which is actually quite quite a lot. And so we have our R, we have our K, and we have our N naught. Now, we need to have a formula, and the formula is this. We're going to name this formula n of t. So n represents the population, t represents time. So this is going to be our formula or our function for this particular graph. And it's going to look like this. We're going to first take our initial population and multiply it by our final population. So n zero times k. And then we're going to divide all of this by initial population plus, let's put a bracket here because it's easier to see this way, final population minus initial population. And then here comes the tricky part. We're going to multiply this by a constant known as Euler's constant, E. This is sort of like pi, but it's not really pi because it's called E. Some calculators have this, some don't. Usually it's uh, represented as an Euler's constant or Euler's number is usually represented as 2.718. So this is a number that doesn't really change. So, oh, but we're not done yet. So it's E with a little bit of an exponent. And here the exponent is minus R, which is of course our growth rate multiplied by t, which is time in days. I know, I hope you can see this. I hope it's not over uh, for, uh, away from my screen here. We're gonna rewrite this in a second. But it, basically, this is the formula. So this is the function that we can now graph. We can actually go into um, any kind of a graphing software, but just for the sakes of use, I'm going to just use a free one on Google. Now, let me just move this a little bit so you can actually see the actual formula. So here it is. And so we're gonna uh, replace these with numbers. So this here is going to become a thousand. This here is going to become a million. This is obviously a thousand. These together will give us 2,999,000. This will be 2.718. And this here is going to be 0 0.05. This will just stay as t, and we're actually going to change it to x because, uh, unfortunately, Google doesn't graph if you change any, uh, if you change it to a different letter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write it in this in the following format. On top, we're going to have three billion, which is basically these two numbers multiplied. On the bottom, we're going to have one thousand plus two nine 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 zero zero zero. 
multiplied by 2.718 to the power of minus 0.005x. And we're going to make this whole thing uh, equal to y. So this is essentially a function, and this is a logistic function that we can now graph just to check out what's going on here. And this is how I'm going to actually write this. So there's a bracket here, there's a bracket here, there's another bracket, another bracket. Then we have E, then we have that uh, shift six button, which is sort of like a carrot. And uh, E to the, this is to the power, to the power of minus 0.005x and three closing brackets. If you basically type this in Google uh, search window, this is what you'll get. You'll get a graph and check this out. It starts right away with a zero. This is actually days. This is two days, four days, six days. Um, and uh, basically what it tells me is that when I got to 1,000 subscribers, about two days later, I had 2,008 subscribers. Now, I think this might be a little bit too fast, but let's find out. Or maybe that's, maybe that's actually true. As I keep going down uh, or up the graph, um, you know, after about, let's just say 100 days, uh, it, this graph tells me that I was at around 1,630 40 subscribers. That kind of makes sense, actually. And I, I did go through some of my old videos just to see uh, when I did my 5,000 special subscribers and when I did my 10,000 special. And you know what? These days kind of, um, they did kind of uh, match with what this graph is showing me. Right now, I am at about 17,000-ish, 17,500, and it's telling me that this took me about 573 days. Now, this is, sounds a little bit too long. I think it was maybe about 400 days. So if, if this happens to you, and if you actually want to make this more accurate, what you can do is increase the uh, growth rate. So this is actually what's probably wrong here. I'm going to make this to 0.08 just to see how this looks. And look at this, through the magic of mathematics, uh, 17,500 subscribers, that's about 350 days. I think that's about right. I think that's possibly how long it took me, maybe just under a year to get to 17,500. Uh, it may depend on you know your channel. Your channel might be growing faster, might be growing slower, but you can basically use this graph to essentially now estimate the number of subscribers you'll have after you know 400 days, after 500 days, and so on and so forth. But what's interesting if, um, about this graph compared to the one I've discussed in the previous video is that this is not an exponential graph. It will at some point start sort of slowing down. So if I if I go to like let's just go to I don't know 600 days. So here we go 600 days or no, even more than that. It's still kind of growing really fast. You can kind of see it's going almost vertically here. But if I were to basically kind of zoom out, it's going to take me forever to do it this way. Um, depending on what you expect to have your um, highest number of subscribers and depending on how fast you, you keep growing, there's going to be a point somewhere right here where you'll start slowing down. Now, this is usually um, starts happening after you reach your so-called midpoint, where you have half of the, uh, your subscribers uh, or limit of your subscribers. And then at some point, it will start waning and more and more and more and more. And then at some point, it will basically sort of flatten out. Now, when this starts happening to your channel, you know there's two things happening. And uh, usually this is demonstrated by sudden drop in uh, daily um, growth in subscribers. So if suddenly you don't get as many subscribers per day as you used to, you're kind of somewhere over here now. And you need to either reinvent your channel or just live with it and enjoy the number you've gotten to, especially if it's a high number. And a few sub a few YouTubers I actually follow are happy with their number right now. Scott Manuel is one of them. He, he's really happy with 500,000. Um, I also like Boogie, uh, two, what's that number he uses? Two, nine, eight, seven, two, six, seven, eight. I'm a mathematician, I should know this. Anyway, Boogie, you're awesome. But anyway, Boogie uh, is at 3.2 million and he's slowly growing, but he's sort of reaching this stage now where I think he's going to, at some point, flatten out and possibly start dropping, but not a lot. But basically, this is how you can use these mathematical models, specifically um, logistic uh, functions, which are I think are absolutely a must know because a lot of things in life work this way, not just bacteria, not just population growth, but even things like, 
the way you learn things, for example, the way you learn languages. Uh, here's actually examples from neural networks. Uh, when a machine is learning, it usually learns in such a way where it uh, forms logistic function. And, and when you learn a language, you actually do the same uh, in medicine. So it, uh, there's uh, things like uh, modeling the cancer and tumor growth, uh, chemistry, reaction models, physics, linguistics, language um, change, how, the way the language changes uh, through, through time. And of course, in economics, a uh, very, very important function to know in economics, especially if you get into money. And so essentially this relatively simple function, which I hope I explained uh, to you and I hope you know what they means now, can model quite a lot of things in life, but for now it can basically model your subscriber growth and tell you a little bit more about things you're doing right or things you're doing wrong. So if suddenly you see this number right here suddenly dropping, and if it goes from like 0 0.005 to like 0 0.003 suddenly um, over a period of, you know, a few months, for example, then you know you're about to reach your limit and you need to start rethinking what you're doing because you're not going to be gaining that many subscribers anymore. So that's it for logistic functions. And that's it for YouTube math and the way subscribers usually grow. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned a little bit of math from this video, and I hope you know a little bit more about how YouTube uh, works now and how to basically become a more successful YouTube YouTuber in the future. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate all of your support, and as always, please subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with someone you think may enjoy math. And then send them to me, because I would like to meet people who enjoy math, except for me. Also, thank you so much for all of your Patreon support, I really appreciate it. And game you later, guys, I'll see you in the next video, and as always, bye-bye.